Here's a look at some of the new features and changes introduced in Vaadin 14. Grid now supports automatic column sizing. By default, columns are equally sized. By setting the auto width property to true on a column, it will attempt to fit to its contents. Grid now supports drag and drop. On the source grid, enable dragging and define what data should get transferred. On the receiving grid, define how drop data should be handled. Grid Pro allows you to customize both rendered values and components used for editing. Use Component Render for customizing how a value is displayed, or pass in a custom input when configuring an edit column. The Notification component has new theme variants to better convey their meaning. The new variants are Primary, Contrast, Success, and Error. There are two new timeout modes for value changes on inputs. The previous eager mode fired on every keystroke, which can be too often for some use cases. The lazy mode waits for the user to stop typing for a while before triggering, and the timeout mode fires on a configurable interval as long as there are updates. Vaadin 14 brings back the preserve on refresh annotation from earlier Vaadin versions. Use it on a route to return the same instance of a view instead of a new instance on refresh. In Vaadin versions 10 to 13, the clear icon was visible by default in inputs with a value. In Vaadin 14, it's now hidden by default. You can enable it with set clear button visible. Vaadin 14 comes with a new version of App Layout. The new version supports a responsive hideable side navigation bar with vertical menu items. The new menu bar component allows you to build drop-down menus. Define your menu items and then any sub-menu items for them through the Java API. One of the biggest changes in Vaadin 14 is under the hood. Instead of using Bower for front-end dependencies, it now uses the industry standard NPM package manager and Webpack build tool. Templates are now defined as JavaScript files. This makes it easy to integrate third-party components like Google's 3D model viewer here. On the server side, load the template with a JS module annotation instead of HTML import, and you're good to go. Interacting with JavaScript is now easier, as you can get return values from calling JavaScript. Execute.js allows you to specify a callback function and the return data type so you can handle it on the server. The extended JavaScript functionality is used to give access to more detailed browser information. The extended client details contain information on screen resolution, time zones, and so on. As of Vaadin 14, you can export parts of your Vaadin app as embeddable web components. This can be very handy when converting projects from other frameworks or integrating with legacy systems. Start by defining a web component exporter for the component you want to export. Give it an HTML tag name that includes a dash. Vaadin will then turn this into a JavaScript file that you can include on a web page. Here, we can see the same view running first inside of a Vaadin application and then embedded on a static HTML page. You can get a quick start to your project with the new custom starter that allows you to create stub views, configure the look and feel, and select the tech stack you want for download. Vaadin 14 is a long-term support release. It will receive five years of public support with an additional 10 years available through an enterprise subscription. So go ahead and try out Vaadin today on vaadin.com start.